You talked about having the Belenikov Award as kind of your goal for this season. This actually hugely vaults you back up into a 100-yard game. Do you think about that, or is it just kind of like an every every game, taking it one game at a time kind of thing? Um, I'm taking it one game at a time, you know. At the beginning of the year, I felt like I told myself and I told my dad while I was sitting at home watching the uh, Portland State game that I haven't liked what I put on film so far. You know, we're in, now we're in the week four, week five at, with the bye week, and I'm still not satisfied. So I think this was one of those games that is just a little bit of a confidence booster. Is it kind of like you beat Stanford, a great defense? Does that kind of take away maybe from what you did against LSU? You didn't have such a good game. Does that kind of maybe replace it a little bit? Or? <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's what it looks like. Uh, you know, but you know, he's still stuck. In, you know, he made his catches when he was supposed to. And yeah, I mean, that, they keyed on him, which also which helped us help me um, get that one on one coverage and took advantage of him. With the touchdown, were you kind of relieved to see he finally had the benefit of the corner down there? Uh, yeah, you know, it's just one of those reads, you know, if the cornerback's playing off the bill, that was me the ball. And I saw that he was playing off, I knew Keith was going to come to me, and I knew I had to make a play. Um, in those situations, you um, He looks at the cornerback, he looks at me, you know, I look at him. It's just, we don't even have to nod, it's just eye contact, you know, come right in. Coach Sark mentioned that after the pick six, some of the defenders came over to the offense and kind of gave him a pep talk and tried to let him know that they got their sack and as you guys get some points at the Lizard Jug. Were you part of that? Or? Um, yeah, I heard them. You know, they, they came over and gave us confidence. You know, they told us that they weren't leaving. You know, we're going to be here. We got to trust y'all that y'all going to do your job. And uh, we trust us that we're going to do our job. You know, and uh, that's what happened. This offense kind of took some risks tonight, especially on fourth down. Is that kind of what you guys had to think coming into this game? You know, it's all or nothing, or is it just timing? Um, I think Sark had the confidence in us. Uh, we knew that we were going to be put in those situations, uh, and uh, we had to make the best of it. You know, I, I think we converted on all but fourth down, and maybe it should be one. But uh, like, like I said earlier, that's just a huge confidence boost in the offense, especially when we're having a game like we were today. Where were you in the main of the game? All over the place. <laughs> I've never been a part of a yeah. I've never been a part of a, uh, a rush the field like that. You know? It's nice. Is this kind of like top game now for you, Dub? What is it rank for you personally? <clears throat> oh, it's number one. You know, it's definitely number one. And there's nothing that can compare to this game. Ranked team. I played the way I played, waiting to break out, um, and it happened. You know, and now people are taking us more seriously. What did it do to do it on national television, Tim? You guys kind of played that down a little bit, that it's just another game. But, you know, seriously, national television, you guys upset number eight Stanford. <coughs> does that kind of send a message maybe that you guys are more than what other people thought? Uh, yeah, you know, I mean, I wasn't thinking of the whole national television thing the whole game. Um, but, you know, now that it's all said and done, uh, yeah, we made a statement tonight. People, this is the only game on. People are paying attention. People are watching the game. Look at you probably already done this already, but for those, uh, take us through the, the, the play there, the touchdown, what happened there, getting into the end zone. Um, I, I got that one-on-one -on -one coverage. Um, you know, just a little, uh, a little quick screen. <coughs> Put my head down. I uh, was able to make the defender miss. The ball slipped out a little bit. Um, I was able to put it back in my hands and you know just rush to the end zone, carry defender in the end zone. What were you thinking when that ball came out? Grab it. <laughs> <laughs> really just grab it. Were you a little shocked that all of a sudden it was like, wait a second, where are you going, ball? Yeah, just a little bit. I was like, what are you doing? Come back. You know, you know. <laughs> were you surprised? Were you just it? excited or something, or why was it coming out? I have no idea. To be honest, I have to watch the film. I can't tell you. Either I'll you weren't at Husky Stadium when they beat USC. I wasn't. Okay. I wasn't. Did you watch it on television or anything? Um, you know what? I didn't. <laughs> no wonder. Were you were you a little upset that they didn't call a horse collar tackle when you were running into the end? Or did he not grab your horse tackle? Did you even feel? I scored. Okay, you can call whatever you want.